this video, I'm going to show you how to add your own image content to HDR Light Studio's presets. Even though HDR Light Studio includes a huge range of lighting content, you may also have other content you'd like to add to the library. Let's add some HDRI maps and some HDR Light Source images. Here, I have a folder on my desktop with some HDRI map files from Panacapture. I want to add them all in one go, so I'll select them all and drag and drop them onto the presets panel in HDR Light Studio. It doesn't matter what type of presets are being shown in the panel, the presets will always be created as element images. A panel pops up asking for confirmation that you want to convert the files into presets. Press yes. Each preset will inherit its name from the name of the file. So all we need to do is tag the batch of presets. Let's press the create new tag button and we will tag these images as pano capture. Then press OK. To continue, press OK. Each image file will now be converted and saved as a TX file, mip mapping and tiling the image to make it efficient to use at various resolutions in HDR Light Studio. This process can take quite a long time for a very high resolution image, but once it's done, the presets will load instantly in HDR Light Studio in the future. A preset will be created in HDR Light Studio for each of these images. The preset will use the TX file stored in the HDR Light Studio user preset directory, and it will not reference the original image file. At the end of the process, a panel will confirm the presets have been created. Press OK to continue. Now let's go and find our newly added image presets. Use the drop down and select Element Images. Use the filter drop down and select Pano Capture. We can see our HDRI maps have been added to the presets. The orange corners indicate they are user created presets. Hover over each preset to see its name in the panel at the bottom. If we hover for longer, we'll see a larger thumbnail with additional information, in this case, the name and the resolution of the file. You can add one of the presets to the lighting design with several methods. In this case, we're going to drag and drop it onto the canvas. Select Create as Background Light. A new light is created using the preset and mapped flat to the canvas and filling it. The light has blend mode over, so it covers up what's underneath. Let's try it again. OK, now let's add some HDR light source images to the presets. We bought these from TurboSquid. We follow the same process as before. Select all the images, drag and drop them, press yes to continue, create a tag, turbo lights, press OK, press OK to continue. The images are now converted and imported as presets. Press OK at the confirmation dialog. OK, let's now go and find those new presets. Let's choose the filter Turbo Lights. And here we can see all the new element images we just added. Let's drag and drop one of these images onto the 3D model. Select Create as 3D Light. A new light is added to the canvas and it's been positioned where we dropped it on the 3D model. Let's drag and drop another. 
creator's 3D light and the light has been added. We can drag and drop these element image presets onto existing lights too. So we can drag and drop into the properties and drop over here and then it hot swaps the appearance of the light instantly using the image or you can drag and drop onto the light in the light list and choose where to apply it. In this case I will apply to the master content. Again it's a great fast way to change the appearance of a light. Okay thank you for watching. Now you know how to import batches of images as presets in HDR Light Studio.